Hi there. I know I'm not quite what you expected. <laughs> you thought you would see a grim reaper. The stereotypical black hood, skeletal face, and a massive scythe. <laughs> Silly thing. You mortals always get to the very end and expect something spooky, something that one of you would dress up like on Halloween. <laughs> no, it's adorable, really. It's cute. I enjoy it. You're always so nervous, all trembling as you walk through your doom. And there's no skeletons. There's no monsters. There's an angel of death. <laughs> Which I suppose is scary in itself because you, after all, didn't want to end up here, did you? And you're very afraid of what happens next. <laughs> cute, 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 yes. <laughs> but never you fear. There's no point in wasting energy in being afraid. This is something predetermined, something you can't change. All that are born must die, and so you were always meant to be here, to meet me. <laughs> All that's left is for your brain to finish shutting down, which is really what I'm here for to guide you through this, to allow you to process these final images. They're different for everyone. Images, images, images flashing through your mind. It could be past homes, places you've held special in your heart, held on to, held on to, held on to. It could be a random house that you may have cycled past on your bike once when you were young. And for some reason, your brain has retained this image. Don't think too deeply into anything you see in your final seconds. There is no meaning in it. Many mortals want to think that the final thoughts are so important that they hold gravity weight. They don't. It doesn't mean a thing. This is a senseless scrambling as you let go, as you breathe your last breaths, as you shed this flesh, these bones, anchoring your spirit here. <laughs> It'll be so much easier if you simply relax into it. I'm here with you. I'm going to be here every second of the way, ushering you to your next phase. And there is something else, don't worry. I'm not at liberty to divulge it. That'll be the next handy helper you meet. I am merely an angel of death. I show up for your final moments. Hold your hand, usher you through. Reassure you that there's nothing to fear in darkness. Don't go screaming into oblivion. Relax. In a way you've never relaxed before. Settle in to the final sleep. Enjoy the show a dying brain puts on. 
a last little bit of theater as you As you sing, down, pop, out of consciousness. I know the feeling itself is so strange. You've always wondered what it would actually feel like. You couldn't have expected this. This is strange, I know. Strange, new, different. And yet, it was always written into your script. Always meant to be. And now you're okay, okay, okay. You're okay. I've done this for eons. I've seen everyone who passed before you. Even people you know. Friends and family. So never you fear these final moments. They're meant for you. You were never meant to change this. Never meant for immortality. And you don't want that. Immortality is even worse than where you're going. Go to where you're supposed to be. Keep going, keep going. There's no cliche light at the end of the tunnel. There's these flashing memories. Some of them hallucinations brought upon you by the chemicals currently being fired off in your brain. No light at the end of the tunnel. No light, no light, no light. Just this, a drive through theater put on by your mind as it shuts down. As everything firing off inside it slows down, darkens, embraces. Embrace it, embrace it. Accept my presence here and what it means. There's no changing this. Once this process starts, there's no hero, no doctor, no surgery that can bring you back once you are this far along. Once you see me, then you know. This is the end, the end, the end. Once you see the angel of death here, you know there's nothing to do but follow me down, 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 down through this tunnel, this exit, not only from your mortal mind, But from this world, this very reality itself, you need to shed the physical in order to embrace what happens next, what comes next, what's in store for you. And so you must shed what was in order to accept what will be, what will be, what will be. Don't be afraid. I know you don't know what to do. You've never done this before. You don't know the steps to take, the processes, the checks to run through. That's why I'm here. It's why I'm here. Ushering you out. I am in control. You are safe in my hands. All you have to do is close your eyes. 
and accept the end. Goodbye.